people are using cauliflower a lot lately. I've seen everything from cauliflower pizza crust to taco shells to all kinds of different things. Where I work, there is actually a salad vending machine, which is a very cool thing, and in it I saw cauliflower fried rice. And I thought, I could make that, and it would be cooked, it wouldn't come out of a vending machine. So I played around with it, and what do you know, it's quite tasty. So the rice is not rice, it's cauliflower. Today, I happen to be going to a potluck, and I thought, I'm gonna take this one step further and make a pineapple bowl, because it'll make a really nice presentation. So I'm gonna show you a very easy cauliflower fried rice recipe that you can make any night, or you can make a really beautiful presentation by adding a little pineapple bowl. To cut this pineapple, you wanna go straight down the middle. And you want to be very gentle with the top. And you just break it open. And then I'm using a smaller knife to get in there and cut the pineapple out. And you want to kind of cut the same way that the outer part goes so you can get as much out as possible. And then I'm just going to cut across to make scooping it out easier. And then the pieces should just lift out. And then you can just go in and clean up the inside with a spoon to really make it a nice bowl shape. Just be careful that you don't cut too far in because you don't want any holes in the bottom. For the chunks, it has this very obvious core in the middle that I'm just going to cut out and not eat. And we'll chop up some fine pieces for the rice itself. You don't need the whole pineapple, so the rest of it you can just chop up and save to snack on later. The ingredients you'll need are cauliflower, of course, since it's cauliflower fried rice, sauteed onion and garlic, carrots, because there's always carrots in fried rice, some sort of green. I like zucchini, but you could definitely do peas. That's probably more traditional. I've got an optional water chestnut and baby corn, and then some garnishes. I've got slivered almonds, you could do crushed peanuts, cilantro or parsley, and a little fresh ginger. I'm starting things off on a low flame. A little bit of olive oil in a wok. And you know I love any recipe that starts with sweating some onions. I'm just going to lightly salt these to help them draw out some moisture, but not too much because we will be using soy sauce later. After just a few minutes, I'm going to add some garlic and let it keep going for eh, two, three more minutes. Next, I'm adding the carrot and my zucchini. And I'm just going to push this around a bit more. Next, I'm going to add the pineapple. A little bit of juice in there is just fine for flavor. Next, I'm going to add the cauliflower rice, as it were. Um, it's kind of a pain to cut up. I did this all by hand. I want to get it really small, like actual rice particles. You could use a food processor if you feel like busting out a whole other piece of equipment you have to clean. And then you just mix this around. We're going to let it cook lightly. This actually cooks rather fast. Each set is only like a couple minutes in between adding new ingredients. But look at all these beautiful bright colors. Fresh pineapple, fresh vegetables. To make it extra authentic, I'm adding some water chestnuts and baby corn. Give it a little extra crunch. And then if you have fresh ginger, you can grate a little on top, but ground ginger would be just fine. For my vegan friends, you can skip this step. For vegetarians, you can add either whole eggs or, as I'm doing, just some egg whites. I'm doing about the equivalent of three eggs. And then you want to push this around until you can start to see that it's scrambling. You might want to turn the heat up a little bit more so you can start to hear it sizzling. And then to your taste, some sesame oil, soy sauce, tamari, or coconut aminos, 
a little ground ginger if you didn't have fresh. I'm actually going to do both because I like that flavor. And some black pepper. So now to plate it up, I've put the pineapple facing in opposite directions. And I'm using a slotted spoon so that any excess liquid will stay in the pan and not get mushy in the bottom of this pineapple bowl. And then for garnish, you can do some cilantro. And like I mentioned at the beginning, some crushed peanuts or as I happen to have, slivered almonds. And I've got it on this beautiful platter that I got from my grandpa, who I mentioned in one of my previous videos. This was originally my Grandma Marie and Grandpa Ted's platter, and I think it's a lovely spring platter. We are really ready for it here in Chicago. So here is cauliflower fried rice. Now tell me this wouldn't wow your meat-eating and vegetarian friends at any potluck.